Yo, what's going on, young fellas? Yeah, I'm sitting up here on a late night. You know what I'm saying? I was actually sent this video a couple days ago, so I'm really behind on doing it. And a young subscriber hollered at me, said, yo, KC, can you touch the topic on this? You know, uh, a young man down in Lubbock, Texas, was sentenced to 70 years for spitting on a cop, an officer. I'm like, damn, 70 years, that's extremely excessive, you would think, you know. <clears throat> I don't know if this young fellow got priors, prior persistence, he's been in and out of prison. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to get a sip of water. I don't know if this young fella um, is a part of the um, recidivism rate to where he's going back and forth into prison or what. I don't know. Why would the prosecutors seek out 70 years? This doesn't make sense. You know, but we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about this and uh, I'll let you guys hear this for yourself. And we're going to get off into my commentary and what I think about it. Let's go. It is 70 years in prison for a Lubbock man found guilty of spitting at Lubbock police. A jury handed that verdict down to this man, 36-year-old Larry Pearson, today. He is found guilty on two counts of harassment of a public servant for spitting at the officers. Pearson was arrested in May 2022 for a domestic violence incident. As he was being taken to jail, Pearson started kicking the doors of the officer's vehicle. When an officer opened the door to tell him to stop, Pearson spit at both of them and continued spitting at them until he got to jail. Pearson also had prior convictions of aggravated robbery and continuous family violence. Due to those convictions, the minimum sentence Pearson could have received would have been 25 years. It is 70 years in prison for a long Now let's get to my commentary, fellas. Well, it seemed like he had a... Um... A recent arrest rec a recent arrest as of twenty twenty two for um, domestic violence. You know, something that's not considered a felony, something that will be considered a misdemeanor. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat kind of dry. You know, I've been working out, you know how I do it, you fellas know. You follow me, you already know I'll be knocking these bottle waters off, man. But um let's get back to it. This right here, fellas, and I'm going to be honest with you, this young man act out on his emotions. And yes, fellas, we as human beings, we, we, we are men, we're human beings, just like, you know, women are women, they're human beings. We all have emotions. However, you must check your emotions at the door, especially when you're dealing with authority, authority figures and certain things that can uh, <clears throat> actually railroad you, you know, right alongside with, you know, checking your emotions when you're dealing with women, allow them to have their emotions. But when you're dealing with the actual justice system, <clears throat> you're going to jail, you're getting arrested for something, it's obvious that um, you're getting arrested for something. Ain't no telling what it is. Comply, you know, with the law. Go to jail, post bond. That's what lawyers are for. You get a lawyer to fight the case. You, know, you can press for a lawsuit or you can do anything of that nature instead of spitting at an officer. You know, you shouldn't be spitting at the cop. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if he spitted at a, um, a federal officer a state trooper, a state officer, which would be your, you know, which be, you know, um, I don't know, like a city cop, you know, that's basically under being a state officer, even though they're city cop, um, law, um, highway patrol. Those are different branches. 70 years, though, is outrageous fellas it doesn't even make sense for them to give him 70 years i get it you want to punish this man for spitting at the officer and having his priors alongside catching his case here you know spitting at the officer whatnot i get that you guys want to punish him and, 
in sentencing, but uh, you fellas want to do your history also on Texas. You know, Texas do not play games. You know, they – here, you get caught with a joint down that motherfucker nowadays. You, you know, something that, you know, you in the Midwest, East Coast, West Coast or whatnot, you know, be, will be considered uh, nothing. They just tell you to throw it down the sewer some motherfucking word, throw it away and whatnot. Or, uh, you know, if it's legalized in your state, then you cool. But Texas, no. Nah, it's not legal down there. And, you know, in Texas is very harsh and they um, enforce the uh, death penalty. They're real good at that shit, like for real. Now, let's get back to the case. I don't know if this guy was offered a plea deal and he didn't actually take the plea deal. And he went to trial and lost, and that's what gave him, you know, the 70 years. So when you go to trial, you lose, you're going to get the max. That's the name of the game, fellas. And um, he could have went out that way. Who knows? My thing is this. The overall root to the problem is he, this young man here, lack authority figure when it comes to his father. He lacks a father figure. That's what I'm seeing here. Because otherwise, your father would have already schooled you, put you up on what and what not to do when it comes to actually uh, handling yourself and adjusting yourself in society. That's what a man is for. And a lot of you young fellas out here lack a father figure. And by you lacking that father figure, you tend to act out on your emotions. Like I just did a live, what, the other day, well, yesterday. Guy act out on his emotions, put a GPS up under the chick's car, and told her he put it under there. Like, <laughs> like she was going to laugh with him or something. Like she wasn't going to call the motherfucking police. Come on, man. You set yourself up for a failure. You backdoor your motherfucking self. I mean, come on, homie. You fellas got to start thinking. But when your brain is clouded, you know, and you're in your feelings, you want to lash out so bad. You end up spitting at a cop. Now you got 70 years. Now, do I think he's going to serve the 70 years? Of course not. Hell no. You know, he's got to go through the appeal process and everything. And then drop it down, break it down to probably five years or something. I don't know. It could have been a slap. I don't, I don't know, you know, how it would go. But um, like I said, this man here, this young man here has wasted his life. It's a possibility he could do the whole seven. I don't think so, you know, because I've done time and I know that um, he can go come back on the appeals and um, actually come home. However, just let's just let's just say that he don't come home. This is what you're. You mean this is how your emotions erupts and it can get you put in a situation. This is a bad situation for this young man. He's young. I don't know what to say in his early 30s or whatnot. And of course, it's harsh treatment. It's definitely unjust. I'm not gonna really say I'm not gonna really dispute that at all. It's definitely unjust. You know, it's too excessive. He shouldn't be getting this amount of time. However he put himself in this situation fellas, by catching that assault on the officer, because that is considered assault. It's definitely considered a, a motherfucking assault. I mean, when you spitting at a cop, putting your hands on a cop, doing any a hell, even spitting at and putting your hands on or kicking their horse and their police dog, the K-9 dogs, it's considered assault on the officer. You better go um, do your research and start studying and learning what you can do and what you cannot do. And you can save yourself a whole lot of time. This young man is actually um, going through the ringer right now all uh, because he couldn't control his emotions. And a lot of you young fellas are out here like that. Y'all out here like that. I'm just going to keep it real. And we're not just going to put the pressure <clears throat> right here on this video here, you know, about this young man. This could be applied to everything you do in life, fellas. Watch what you do. Watch your surroundings. 
Watch how you conduct yourself and make it home safe. Success is everything. You know, having the care and support and the love from your family, the true, yeah, you know, we got some fucked up family members out here. We all know that. That's every race and every, you know, it's it's out here. You know, I'm saying we know that. But the ones that care for you and love you, your children, your mother, father, whoever, you know, you want to be there for them. You want to be able to walk in the house, you know, and everybody can see you or whatnot. You go home and motherfuckers know you're there and are you working. You know, you you in society. You're living. You know, you're traveling. You're doing what you want to do in life because you're living. But you must remember. You got to abide by the laws. It took me so long to understand that. You know, I didn't even, I, shit, when I was younger, shit, abiding by the laws wasn't even, in my, wasn't even in my spirit. But as I started getting older, you know, actually, actually watching my children grow up, supporting them, help raising them, you know, watching my success, the uprising of my success, I should say. You know, made me think twice about the stupidity and the dumb shit. You know, I want to live and I also love my freedom. So, youngsters, take this advice and run with it. You all you got. Like I said, it's KC the Red Pill out for you. I already know what time it is. Go and join that Patreon. It's up, it's going, and it's lit. You know? A subscriber wanted me to do this video. He wanted me to talk to the youngsters. So here it is. You know, like I said, if you don't have a role model or someone that can help structure you in life, like your father, uh, a mentor, <clears throat> excuse me, a mentor, I must say, like your father, you know, someone who can help school you, man. You know, and this is something a lot of you young guys lack. It's mentorship, you know. And if you guys need that, you know, hit me on the Gmail. Holler at me, man. I'm all ears, man. Ain't no excuse. Get at me. You dig? Holler.